So we're here at Sully Guitars, which is a lovely guitar maker. Hey, thanks. Sully himself right here. Hi, I am. Hey. How are you? So is this your line of import or your, your USA made or both here? Uh, well, the it's a, it's a mix of both, sorry. It's a mix of both. <laughs> uh, over on this side where we've got the sparkly and pointy things. Uh, these are all customs made by me in my garage in Dallas. Uh, uh, this last line over here are production models which are made in Korea, like the Orange Beach GTR line, they're not Indonesian. And so we've got these guys, we've got customs, and uh, we've got you, we've got you, we've got you, we've got you, we're all here. And we've got him too. Well, yeah. nothing happens without him, clearly. That's why he's <laughs> over there. <laughs> yes, it's five channels at once, though, we're not shooting for my channel, so four, three channels at once, Harry's not getting a video either, so. The, the, the way that you approach this, you like, is this your custom line or your import line? It makes me think you actually know who he is and what he does. Because I'm clueless, you know clearly way more than me, so you're the right person to lead this video because otherwise it's just, yes, he said, you know, sparkly, pointy, tree wood. So maybe you uh, host this because I think I'm talking about it. But is it a Henning video if there's anyone who knows what they're talking about in the video? Oh, hell no. So let's look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, talk into the coffee. <laughs> um, so, okay, um, I'm gonna go to what I gravitate yep. towards. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing on uh, Purple. It's always purple, but let's, let's talk the purple. Um, the B thing doesn't work for me, but what works is the the aging on it. It looks extremely heavy and it's only mid-heavy. Mm -hmm. So this has a beautiful rock and rolly kind of age on it with you know gunk next to the knobs and a beautiful oh it's got a uh -huh, let me ask you about this. Is that a Demasio in the back? Because it kind of should be in the US shouldn't it? Well uh, that depends, <laughs> because sometimes pickups have covers. Sometimes you find an old pickup in a parts bin that once had a cover on it. Sometimes say, shit, I need a pickup to fix this, to finish this guitar. I don't want to do a cover, because the other one doesn't have a cover on it. You pop the cover off. It's a good story. I mean, could be made up, could not be made up, but it's a good story. We're not going to go further into it, and if you don't know why I'm asking, look it up. Yeah. <laughs> then of course we could just say, wait, we're in Norway right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're in Norway. So uh, then it's totally fine. Good. Oh, this is going to Norway, which is... Right? It's going somewhere. Yeah. We'll find out. There we go. Oh, locking tuners. Nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Hip shotties. Yeah. And um, Steve, would you rock this? Yes, I would rock that. Love the hollow block inlays. I'm not the biggest block inlay fan, but, yeah. but that's... Nice, and those are mother of toilet seat something. Yep. yep. So, uh, so how much uh, is Steve paying for this? Well, uh, unfortunately Steve is too late. Uh, this is sold. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> this is how that works. <laughs> <laughs> it's the power of YouTube, kids. Uh, this uh, would be like $37.50. Yes, $37.50. Can I... Can I choose what guitar I would pick out? Yeah. No, no, you're buying it for me. That's oh, a, okay. Uh, no, no, no. I'm buying, uh, I'm buying it for me. See, that's how that okay. works. Yeah. That's how that works. Smooth. Okay, you go. Okay. Slavia. Yeah. Hold this. Okay. No, nobody, 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 no more. Okay. No, no. Painting, as you know, I'm a big man. So I need a big guitar with a big sound. I'm going with. Ah. Uh, yeah. The biggest of the big. It's not just big, it's also fat as hell. That's a what are you what are you saying? No, no, I'm the guitar. <laughs> the, the, the guitar. <laughs> it's also from Jesus Christ! I, I'm, I'm under attack this the morning. The guitar. Okay. Um, I saw this guitar, and I just said, I would rock that. I love the inlays. I love the paint job. I love the uh, the sparkle. I love the purpleness, and I love that it's six strings. You know, get, show a little love for us, you know, the six string plays. I know he's mostly six string, but I, I'm, I'm discouraged by the increase of seven, eight, nine, and 40 string guitars that have come out in the last year. So uh, I would like this to be a new tagline. Steve from Boston, I rock the purple sparkle. I rock the purple sparkle, exactly. Steve from Boston, I rock the purple sparkle.
Chief, you're, you're, you're welcome. That right there, that's money in that the just, bank. That, just, that is money right, in the freaking exactly. bank. Exactly. Um, I love the contour. I just, everything about this guitar, and it's not a bolt-on. It is a set neck. And it's insanely beautifully done. Getting that transition happening must be extremely difficult. Harry, are you if getting we, this? If we only had the owner here to ask. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck that guy. I get that a lot. So why, why don't... Why don't you talk about the, hey, you take this and okay. I take a break. Okay, cool. So this is actually part of our production line, which is made in Korea. Oh, really? Yeah, it's uh, the Conspiracy Series, which is some fun wordplay. Wow. Thank you. Uh, this is actually part of a, a limited batch of guitars that will come equipped right out of the box with FU Tone. I was like, liter I was like literally thinking, 35 to 4500 on this guitar. Oh. I will happily sell you this $1,600 guitar for $3,500 to four. To four <laughs> wow, yes, yeah, no problem. Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, 16. That's a lot of guitar. It is. So we've got, uh, I'm going to give you the, the boring guitar maker shit because Henning's over there with his coffee and. I don't know what his Google search is looking like right now, so we won't we won't talk about that. We've got uh, compound radius, ebony fretboard, stainless steel frets, lumen lays on the side. So if in case you're afraid of the dark, uh, the, the glows and all that shit, uh, we've got pickups that are wants to my specs. This is pretty uh, a good everything you want in a neck pickup, uh, but it doesn't get super throaty, super Michael McDonaldy on you. Uh, it also splits. Um, actually, both of them split. It cleans up pretty nice. Uh, as mentioned, this comes uh, with the FU Tone dual lock and trim. It's got titanium uh, string locks in there. We flip that over. And we can show we've got the brass claw and screws. We've got the noiseless heavy duty springs. We've got the trim stopper and a big ass brass block here. And a, you know, just to, so you know what you're dealing with, we left this clear. Um, to answer the previous question about getting transitions and all that stuff done, I mean, you know, from a construction aspect, you do this before and you do this and then you made it together and then you clean it up. Right. But uh, yes, it's a lot of elven magic and uh, unicorn tears. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's, yeah. that's pretty much what goes into most of it. You can really feel the unicorn tears, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> you I'm can glad. really feel the unicorn tears. The, and, uh, and I love it, I love it. Thanks. Yeah. The, the hard part is that you have to be the guy to make a unicorn cry to get it in the finish. Right, right. But the trade-off is it looks really cool and it stays with you forever after the memories of the crying unicorn is long gone. Exactly. That, that was, was the name of my second album, it was, Unicorn Tears. Wasn't that the experimental <laughs> jazz kind of thing? It was. Yeah. It was. You know, I, I didn't get it at first. <laughs> But right. eventually, right? But after five or six years of listening, yeah, and, uh, you know, the first it's on you. eight minutes. What a waste of time! Well, <laughs> there was many ways you could spend your time, and that was one of them. Okay, right. Every audio okay? Okay. What? Audio okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna tag out. There you go. So uh, that means uh, we'll perfect this next. Yeah. Okay. So one guitar for YouTuber. This is my. Wait, 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 wait a second, which is very strange because I heard this guy noodle and, and, and uh, coax amazing, beautiful tones out of uh, Shabbat guitars on Monday <laughs> for two hours and it was all clean, all telly, all beautiful portal stuff. The thing he picks is the metal monster. Yes. The, the classic thrash metal monster, which is like, what? <laughs> I've, I've misjudged you, my friend. I am multifaceted. And also you shut me down when they turn on the distortion. That's good. <laughs> yeah, good point, good point. Yeah. It took you about two hours to get there. <laughs> so, uh, Sully, what is this thing? This is the Concord. And uh, it's kind of something I'm doing in conjunction uh, with Robert Jackson. It was my spirit animal and a good friend. He makes our pickups. He's a good shop, good shop, nice human being. I was in the shop last week and told him there. What a great guy. He really is. He, uh, he, I, I often tell him he's way nicer to me than he needs to be. So this is a mahogany set neck. It's got an arched top. Uh, it's got points. It's, it's very subtle, like the being subtle, just like the paint job. Uh, we've got the requisite points, but uh, we've got the output jack on the back so it doesn't stick you in the leg or over here or whatever. And, uh, you know, it's the, the subtle finish that we are kind of known for. Yeah, it's real subtle. Yeah, but, you know, Perf was here this mor uh, yesterday morning playing this guitar through his, his 
amp, and uh, you know, you weren't super distorted. You can get clean yeah. tones. I mean, like we'll, we'll still throw a coil split in there just to add some versatility. For still not going to be your country biggest guitar. But it's Why shiny. Not? It's shiny, and, and it's Nash Vegas. If you're playing on <laughs> a big stage, you need a shiny guitar. Yeah, but also some sequins. I get that. Yeah. Some nice, like you know, gator boots. Sure. Sure. sure yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very much. And lock. Oh, oh, oh wait, wait, you will hold this. Hold okay, this. okay. I gotta hug this man. Oh, oh well. Because <laughs> it's never too early for hugs, people. Because uh, <laughs> it has show the show the back of the headstock. There you go. What do we see there, Harry Holden? Behind the guitar camera, we see locking tuners. Oh, pray tell, but it is a guitar with a locking nut. Because the locking tuners, yes, can be about tuning stability a little bit, but primarily they are for what? Exactly. Yes. Because I get a lot. Thank you. Good night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh! You actually did that. <laughs> uh, it's only six hundred bucks, whatever. No. Oh, oh. I do have a spare. Oh, oh. Are we, do we have do we have sound, Harry? Good. <laughs> <laughs> the carpet sounds great, doesn't it? Yeah. So nice low end sound right yeah. there, you know. <laughs> I get so much shit when I review guitars. And they've got a Floyd, and I'm like, I wish it had locking tuners, especially a lot of Ibanez models. Um, and Ibanez seems to put locking tuners on stuff willy nilly. Sometimes with the Floyd, yes or no. Sometimes without, yes or no. It's like there's no rhyme or reason when they do it. You know when they should do it? Every fucking time. Mm. I think you okay. can't say that because, you know. I don't care. Yeah. You just put them on there. I just make my own shit. Yeah, I can do whatever they want to do. It's but good this, for me. But this is what I want to see. So yeah. the Friedman Kelly, same thing has a locking nut and locking tuners because it's so much quicker to change strings with them. That's right. what guitars should have. Right. Nowadays, why not do it? They, they are lightweight now. So it's also just easier yeah. for me, which but, I'm really yeah. interested in. Uh, so I don't have to order a bunch of different tuners. I can just order a bunch of locking tuners and then just put them on and not give a shit what bridge is on. And it's not really cost prohibitive because realistically, uh, yeah. OEM OE, OE to a builder like you, the, the difference is there, uh, and I don't think there is one. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't bought it online in a long time, so. And uh, that's why we love me. Um, so yeah, this is some stunning stuff. Thank you, Elizabeth. That's the one to say. This is some stunning stuff. This is some stunning stuff. <laughs> All of those things. Wait, and more. No, no. This is some stunning stuff. Funny guitars. It's a cunning stunt. <laughs> Wait, it, 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 what? It's a cunning stunt. <laughs> um, and we'll stop there. <laughs> and then of course we have some beautiful stuff with, you know, beautiful tops, which is less pronounced than the purple sparkle and the gold sparkle. Right, right, right. Um, but it's all there, and it's um, custom shop, and we said Korean made. Yeah, yeah. What are the price points on the Korean models? Set next uh, generally start at eleven ninety nine. Bolt ons uh, ten ninety nine. Uh, they got a Floyd, you add fifty. Um, that's uh, pretty reasonable. Hey, thanks. Uh, gig bag case or stupid cardboard box? Oh, it's a delightful gig bag, actually. I worked really uh, hard on it. <laughs> I love the word delightful. <laughs> Thank it's you. delightful. It is. It's, it's, it's a goddamn delight. Yeah, it's a gig bag that, that, uh, that protects and secures, adds and looks fashionable. As it should. Yes, I, I agree. Well, thank you, Sonny, for all of this. Actually healthier than apparently shaking hands. Yeah. Told me Harry, he just wants hugs. That's why. That's why. Well, I got that sense. Yeah. I mean, you're you're far away, but I feel you close. He's very huggable. Oh. Or in French, le huggable. Oh yeah. Ah ouais. Oh, le huggable. So I'm um, huggable. <laughs> huggable. Thank you for the fact to the Castro. Watch his channel. Great guy. Uh, thank you, Sully. Thanks, me, I guess. Sure. Uh, thank you, Henry. <laughs> thank you, Henry. Dave, Chen, Agro, Powell. There's a lot of YouTube people. Uh, some kind of thanks to, you know, Steve from Boston for just, just being him. You're welcome. <laughs> and obviously, Harry Owen from Harry and the Guitar behind the camera for... for hey, Harry, you want to run around the camera really quickly? Come on. Come on. Run around it. Really quick. Really quick. Real okay. quick. There was Harry Holden from Harry and the Guitar. Um, <laughs> Nam 2020, let's all go home please now. Um, we have so much more to do and I don't want it, my coffee's empty. But your heart is full. Uh, for shit. It's black. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna have, um, what am I gonna say? 
Uh, links below, I will try to do that. So you have a website, right? Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so on the, uh, he's on the interwebs. Yeah. The kids go on the web. Yeah. Um, uh, and animals at the freaking end. <laughs> Let's do 15 more of those today.